Me out everyone, just wanted to give a quick heads up on a pretty easy gathering rotation for the 6-3 update to Island Sanctuary. This video assumes you're already at level 10. First and foremost, pick up the new level 10 quest from our Felicitous Cat co-worker, as it gives you the recipe for the tool you need for the new tree materials. Once you have your Isle Keeper stone hatchet, it's on to gathering. Almost all of the new materials come from trees. Resin comes from the Toolong trees, Wood Opal comes from the Mahogany trees, Beehive chips come from apple trees, and coconut comes from palm trees. I've marked on the map my preferred apple and mahogany circuit, then I gather palm and tulong doing my two other circuits. In addition to the new tree materials, there are multicolored isle blooms. These only grow on the west side of the big mountain at Small Spring. I incorporate them into a larger circuit that also includes the western salt cave, a small patch of palm trees, and the western copper patch. Island Sanctuary, having been out a while, I find uses a lot of salt and copper, so incorporating these into a gather circuit for the new flowers works great for me. Plus, I run into some palm for the new coconut material. These circuits aren't min-maxed for time, however, they do allow you to gather items that you're going to use more of, so it's a bit more effective of a balance of items that you need, but also gaining XP to help get those two new levels. It is still an absolute grind to gather your way through those next two levels, so I would really recommend not going too hard on it and accepting that probably most of your XP is still going to come from those workshop mammoths, but this is a great way to help add to that and get to at least level 11 a little bit faster. Another good way to make your island gathering time most effective is to see what materials you have that you have under 100 of, and then doing circuits that focus on those materials. So another one I run into often would be the lever, the seaweed. So that's another one if I'm looking for something to mix it up because bulk gathering gets boring. I hop into the ocean and go and gather lava as well. And of course, don't forget to craft food for your animal friends because crafting also gives XP as well. When I get tired of that circuit, I switch over to the one that centers around the primary hemp circuit, and also can pull in the cotton and eastern copper circuits, as well as add in the eastern salt cave, and pick up a fair amount of palm trees as well. I also run into enough tulong trees along these two circuits that I'm gathering that last new material at a decent rate as well. Speaking of the workshop mammoths, if you're looking for suggestions on how to best use their time, the Overseas Casuals Twitter account at Workshop Parrot gives great recommendations each week, although you're going to need to be careful at the moment on what level you're at as to what recommendations to follow. And starting next week, it looks like they're going to only be giving recommendations for level 11, so if you need to do some catch-up leveling, they're not the best at the moment, but once you hit that max level or are more in step with what level they're on, it's a great resource if you don't want to decide what to make yourself. Although I actually quite enjoy looking at the markets and giving a guess at what's the best option to go with. Aside from that, if you're looking to power level through gathering, I would really recommend finding circuits that you're comfortable in, and also put on either a TV show or a movie that you're looking to catch up on, and just kind of get in the zone with it, and switch up those circuits that you are doing every so often so it isn't quite as mind or wrist numbing. Another good way to make this less of a mind numbing chore is to go to your island first, then queue up for roulettes, then while you're waiting on the roulette queue, to go ahead and gather a bit. That way you can kind of break it up into small little chunks during time that you're otherwise waiting anyways. And that's it! Just thought it'd be nice to share where to find these new materials since I had trouble finding them at first. Have a good night and happy harvesting!